Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Sadman and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. Now, I have passed my driving test about a month ago, exact 23rd of April this year. Third attempt, I have failed it twice from a good maze test center in uh, Ilford. Two minor faults, one for positioning, the other one was for signaling. Now, if you follow these tips, guys, I can promise you that you will pass the first time because, guys, in my, in my position, I didn't follow these tips. I didn't know about these tips. So, therefore, it took me a lot of time. So, I, I, I wish somebody did make a video. I don't attempt for a test if you are not 200% sure and comfortable about your driving. The first time I failed was mainly about positioning and there wasn't a major fault but there was multiple times doing minor fault. At the end of the test the examiner told me that I could have easily fixed if I had taken five more lessons with my instructor car. If you're not in that state then don't attempt for a driving test because nowadays it's very expensive as well so therefore yeah <laughs> make sure to to improve your skills first before attempting the driving test the next thing that i want to give you is a attempt mock test from different instructors now mock test is actually a great way to see how you're doing if you are very confident if you are comfortable to take your actual test the reason i'm saying attempt mock test from different instructor is that so you can see what other instructors are saying not just your own instructor but what is that instructor saying what is that instructor saying and then compare them all i have attempted three mock tests with the three different instructors then i compare them so they all pretty much say that more careful more more slower but it was overall fine mock test does give you a really really a deep uh, depth idea so what's going on in driving and how you can improve it the driving instructors they give you a very detailed feedback because you're, you're paying you're paying lots of money for that which is very good so that you can see how you can uh, improve it. The next tip that I want to give you is that know the area very well. This is quite debatable guys because people will say if you have a, a good driving skills then the area doesn't matter which is true indeed. So if you can drive it very well then the area doesn't normally matter. But still knowing the area very well it has slightly bit age because if you know the area very well then you know where the difficult junctions are, where the narrow roads are, where roundabouts are and which lane is the best to take for, for, a, for a particular exit. So therefore, it's a good idea to know the area very well. Now, I know that sometimes you might be unfortunate and you might not find the test center or the test date in your in your area, so it might be elsewhere. In that case, what you have to be doing, I would say go a day before your driving test to the area with your parent car. Look around the area, so just uh, just spend about a couple of hours there and then just see the area. Where are the difficult roundabout, the difficult junctions? Where are the hills? Uh, if there are any, any particular uh, places where the speed limit is different, right? So you have to make sure that, you know, uh, you know the area sort of reasonably uh, well, the next thing I'm going to give you is that test route are not always accurate. Now, a big misconception that I personally had is that if I know all of the test route of a particular test center, then I will definitely pass it because I know all the routes. Hopefully, if there are no any sort of uh, reasonably dangers on the road, then I can pass it <laughs> quite easily. But that doesn't happen. So all of those three attempts that I had so far, in none of them, the test route did match from the, the one that I saw on, the, on, on YouTube video. And in the last one, my, with my three different driving instructor, they took me in three different test route for my uh, driving test. And one of them were like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure 80% that at that time, this test route might be this one or the other one. So it took me in, in two different test route, by the way. So, uh, but hey, on the actual test, test date, there was none of them. <laughs> so therefore, the test route, uh, they always yeah, get changed they always get updated so therefore just don't solely based on your test rules so don't just don't memorize the test rule and be like oh you know i know all the test rules so i can I can be fine i know what to expect where where difficult junctions are i have to be more careful to be driving more, more slowly uh, more slower so test route are a good way to see the area a bit more but you have to be knowing the test area you have to be more conscious more, more careful on driving and not just test route. The next thing that I want to give you is that make mirror checking very noticeable by the examiner. And when we personally drive, we just quickly look at any traffic or any car coming from behind, or any pedestrian or any vehicle, maybe a second or two on each of those, those, those three mirrors and that's how we can go. But on the your actual driving test, you want to make sure to really put effort, move your body around to make sure that, to show the examiner that you are actively checking the mirrors. It's very important that you actively show the examiner that you are checking the mirrors. So the examiner know that, oh, he has checked the mirrors. Next, lean forward, move your body forward to have a clear view on junctions and roundabout. Now, when we drive, we just have a quick glance on the right, no car on the right, no car on the left, so you can go. But on your driving test, you have to be showing the examiner that you have you have carefully checked everything, your surrounding. So, no, so you have to be putting the effort on your move your body that be like, oh, you know, the examiner, I'm taking on the right, 
actually on the left and so now I'm kicking go. So you have to be putting the effort of moving your body freely. So don't be like shy or be like overly anxious, be like boom, boom, you know, move your body. So show around that, oh, you know, I am doing it. I know what to do. I know where to look. I'm a safe driver overall. Next, choose quiet time for your driving test. If you can, possibly choose a quiet time. Now, if you can choose, let's say, holiday time or maybe early in the morning or um, around about 10, 11, 1. So, there, uh, so these are uh, off time, I would say off peak. So there aren't that many cars uh, around. So there is no many traffic, no many people walking around, no many pedestrians, no many uh, kids running on the street so therefore it's a good a good idea to choose off time for your driving test ideally holiday on holiday roads are much more emptier summer holidays is a good example for that so that's a good time to actually take the test so if you take the test in the peak time then you have to be more aware of the surrounding make more observations speed also matters so therefore make sure if possible choose a quiet time for your driving test the next tip i'm going to give you is practice in your parent car if possible and if they allow you to because this has two big advantages first of all you'll save lots of money so one week of insurance in company like collinwood which is one of the uh, lowest uh, fee that i found back then that is 20 pound and that is not even close to what i used to pay with my driving instructor the second one you'll become more confident and more comfortable with your driving and you'll improve your uh, driving skills a lot a lot right because first of all there is uh yeah you're responsible of your car and you know that you know your mom or your dad is not able to control the car because they don't have the uh yeah the pedals there and also you can try lots of different things like maneuver you can just try to see how you can maneuver more effectively how much to maneuver well and everything because in instructor car they are very strict or they might be like oh you know you move too much to the right or too much to the left you have to be centered or whatever so they are very picky and very sort of tight so therefore having your parent car is absolutely a great thing you can do whatever you like hopefully <laughs> you have to be of course uh, careful yeah not to hit any anyone or not to hit any curbs or whatever but still is a lot better you become so much confident and finally know the car very well know the buttons where they are located how to use them right the biting point the engine sound because first impression matters a lot here right so if the examiner asks you let's say uh, show me how you use the rear demister you'll be able to do it right don't be just be like oh Sir, I don't know how to do it. I don't mind to get a minor fall for that. Especially in these rainy weathers, even if the examiner don't ask you to use the, the windscreen wiper, you know, still be able to do it because, yeah, the visibility is poor, so you're gonna be able to do it. And lastly, in case things didn't go well and you have failed your driving test, what can you do? First of all, relax. It's fine, failure is absolutely fine. Guys, I have failed twice, right? Many of my friends, they have failed four times, fifth time, uh, five times. So therefore, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely normal to fail, right? And uh, uh, the thing that you have to make sure that, that to understand is uh, where are you failing, where your weaknesses are. So is it because you're anxious? But if you're failing because you don't know what, what lane to take on a roundabout, then that's a big problem, right? In that case, you have to practice roundabout, right? So there are different things, uh, different reasons of why, why you have failed. And uh, of course, going back to my tips, the first thing over here is that make sure that you know you're comfortable, 200% sure that you can drive on the road, right? If you're not fully confident, just don't even go for the, for the driving test. So yeah, uh, in case you failed because you are anxious, then just book another one, another test. And in case you cannot find the test date, I'm gonna make a separate video about it on showing you the three different way to find the driving test um, as early as you can. But just just contact your, your driving instructor and tell him or her to find your cancellation date and they will be able to find you within a few days time so and that's the end of this video guys i hope it was interesting and helpful if it was give me a big thumbs up comment down below if you have any question or if you want to add anything else and guys i will see you in the next one goodbye